Yeah. My Uncle David's gonna be here in like a minute or something. Oh no, he's definitely going to say yes. There's no way. Okay, I have to call you back. Hi, Ratchie. No, Ned. Mm -mm. Where is Uncle David? Well, don't be mad, but he said he wasn't gonna be able to make it. But I'm gonna get him on a conference call. Okay, then do it. Why are we still talking about this? Did you get uglier? My calls, they, I don't, they weren't I don't, working. Yeah, you've lost my interest. David's phone, David speaking. Hi, Uncle David. It's your favorite niece. Hey, Rachi. Did you get my email? Yeah, I got your email. Look, I'm not saying people aren't gonna like it. I'm just telling you it's crazy, stupid, and dangerous. I don't think the network's gonna go for it. Okay, well, I don't like the sound of that. It, where's this all coming from? Where's it coming from? It's coming from all those so-called passion projects I keep funding. One week you're deep sea diving, the next week you're life coaching. Weekend after that, you open up a goat yoga studio. Okay, that one had some momentum before that lady got bit on the tush and well, you were in the courtroom, so you... That's what I'm talking about, Rachi! Listen, I made a promise to your father before he passed away that I'd take care of you. I can't keep catching you every time you fall. Listen, we're gonna fund the first episode, but if the power doesn't sell to the network, that's it, you're done. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh, really, Uncle David? Look. You're, you're not gonna regret this. This show is going to be a smash. It is going to- On a few conditions. One, you need to find your own film crew. Are you kidding me? Do you know how much that costs? Yeah, Rachi, I know how much it costs. I'm in the business. <sighs> okay, what else? Number two, I'm gonna give you a little bit of money for insurance. You need to get insurance. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Okay, fine, I'll buy insurance. Number three. You're taking your cousin Ned with you. No, Uncle Dick. But Uncle, I make a great lasagna. Nobody cares about your lasagna. No, look, Uncle David, no, we can, you know I hate Ned. You know how much I hate him. I'm, I'm right here. Okay, fine, he can come. But you stay out of my way, got it? Fine, so we have a deal. You need to stay on the budget until we sell. Okay, kid, I believe in you. All right, Uncle David, trust me, you are not going to regret this. Look, I already have the intro written up, okay? I got it right here. Hello, my name is Rachel Salzberg. I'm a certified life coach. I'm at Level 2 Improv, and I've been on multiple camping trips. I'm here to bring people love, laughter, and survival tips with America's first ever survival dating prank show. This is The Wilderness Woman. My first step is to seek stupid, attractive singles and convince them they want a tropical vacation with all expenses paid. I figured I needed to find people in their most vulnerable state. Blacked out drunk, outside of a failed acting audition, basically doing nothing, and a group of recently fired Chuck E. Cheese employees. I found these brutal losers and my new cast was assembled. What up, I'm Duke, founder of Thigh Gap Fitness. You know, it's, it's pretty packed in there because it's in my mom's garage and all. Wow. Girl, try this. <sighs> I built the gym from the ground up and recently, we've been getting a whole lot of clients in there. It's pretty awesome. Hey guys, I'm Natasha Knight. I'm an aspiring YouTuber slash actor slash celebrity personality. I'm really hoping that my channel can move me up higher into the industry. This is actually Maybelline, I'm mauvin' it. Um, this one right here is NYX Crimson Marigold. And this one right here, it's actually mud from my backyard. I'm doing a little voiceover work at the moment for the show called Baby President. It's a cartoon and I play Madam Baby President. My fellow Americans, I declare naps illegal. Hey y'all, my name is Pumpkin and I work at Dead End Salon. Bam, 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 bam. 
Bam. And I'm excited to get out of the U.S. Well, because, well, there was an incident where Mr. Raccoon was mouthing off and... Hi, um, I'm Carl. I'm an ex-Chuck E. Cheese manager, you know. Um, but I was recently let go because a kid took a swim in the ball pit and he never came out. But I've been trying to let it go, you know. Moving on is the motto. You know, looking forward to getting that tan. <laughs> Hello, world! My name is Lynn Not a Girl. I run a cute little cupcake shop called Frosting. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Vincent. We met each other through Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> All right. I'd do anything for this guy, honestly. I'm. When they let him go at Chuck E. Cheese, I, I started a union until they would get him back. Chuck E. Cheese is not a mouse. He's a rat. Chuck E. Cheese is not a mouse. Rat. Rat. Uh, but ultimately, that led to me losing my job, too. But don't worry. I mean, when we go to this Caribbean, we're going to start our own little pizza arcade. Yeah, let's just do it. It's going to be called Anchovies. Anchovies. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> And you know, little Miss Raccoon, she was just mouthing off my brother Pumpkin, and I was like, mm-mm. I just snipped the lip right off. But now, a really big lawsuit. Like, really big. I'm really looking forward to three things on this trip. Island babes, island drinks, seeing the Eiffel Tower. Psst. Come here. Come here. My name is Brandon. I'm really a boy in a wig. <laughs> Ratchie and I are old improv friends. She hired me as one of the prank factors. Nobody knows I'm just wearing a wig. <laughs> oh, this has really helped my improv skills. <sighs> I could be a little competitive, but Rachi told me I have to throw all the competition. Oh well. Hey, Lynn. Yeah? <laughs> uh, could you make sure that you're not sharing too many details about your life? Hey, <laughs> you know, of course. Yeah, you got it. Uh, just talking about that pesky wage gap. <laughs> oh, the struggles of womanhood. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Ned, and I are ready for phase one, the emergency plane landing. Steven, where are you? Seriously, everybody's already here. No, I don't care that you had to get your eyebrows done. We could have done that in the forest. <sighs> no, the pilot's not here yet. I don't know. This whole thing is a disaster. <laughs> Am I interrupting? I have arrived. Where is the call ship? You back. I don't see any oceans. Phil? Yes. Phil, I asked for a pilot. Listen, listen, listen. You told me pirate, and that's what you get. No. I will man any ship, but no. you said pirate. No, I said pilot, Phil. What, what, do you, what, what am I going to do? Go home? I mean, my, uh, across the ocean. Where, where's the ship? I will fly it. There's no Drive. ship. It's a plane. It's a plane, I, like in the air. I'm the best sea captain there is. I can man any mechanism. I, uh, Are you drunk? Well, uh, Look at me. Look at me. Look down. What? You're wasted. I can fly, I can drive, I can sail. Anything, but where's the crew? Man the cannons! Help you out with that beautiful oh. girl like yourself shouldn't be having a struggle with luggage, you know? Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, some, some pretty light luggage here. Can handle yeah. that. Uh, oh, what's up? I'm, I'm Duke. Hi, Natasha. Nice to meet you. Uh, I think we should like sit next to each other on a plane, you know? How do you, how you feel about that? Yeah, definitely. All right, everybody. The plane will be here in 20 minutes. And the next time I see you, we'll all be on island time. Yes. Oh, I'll that. Wait. Are you flying with us? Well, you know, the crew and I, we have so much equipment, and it's a really small, private plane. Very intimate, very romantic. Ooh. All right, I'll see you all later. All right, bye. Right. Ahoy, what a fine crew we have today. Everyone drop your luggage and find your way to my ship, and we will be departing soon. <laughs> Hurry, hurry. The seas are rough today. <laughs> Should not be flying. <laughs>
lovely treasure. Lovely treasure. I gave Phil a hundred dollars to fly in circles for hours. They're eventually going to make an emergency plane landing in this little town called Hamul. It's about 10 minutes from civilization, but they'll never know that. Once they land, I'm going to reveal to them that they're actually in a survival dating prank show. But I think I'm going to leave the dating part out because I want these romances to be organic. Babe, easy on the makeup. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. You don't want America to think you're a cake face, do you? Okay, well, I'm sorry, but you used all of the eyebrow gel last week on your Payless shoot, so gotta bump it up a little bit. Raji, is that a new outfit? You changed like three times already. Yes, Ned, it's a new outfit. I have to look good for this show. Okay, have you ever heard of wardrobe? Maybe you should get some new clothes to cover up those knobby knees. That money was for insurance. You need insurance. Ned, you need a life, okay? You, why are you filming us, you little creeper? I wanted to get some behind the scene footage. People love this sort of thing. Oh, well. In that case, hello, my wonderful viewers of the Wilderness Woman. Hey, babe, dial it back. You want to be relatable to the viewers. I am relatable, right? Wilderness Woman, here we come. My goodness, what are you all doing here? What happened? Well, our plane had to make an emergency landing because the toilet was clogged, apparently. The toilet clogged? You know what? I've, I've heard of things like this before, but thank goodness we're all together, right? Wait, how did you get here? Did your toilet clog too? Run, Phil, run! You see, boys, can't really do that. I heard my back in 97, but where's the nearest ocean? That way, right? Would you like to explain to me what the hell's going on here? Okay. Congratulations, everybody. You are all contestants on America's first ever survival prank show, AKA the Wilderness Woman. <laughs> What's a wilderness woman? What's a woman? I don't know. Okay, so we didn't win a contest? Nope. That was part of the prank element. Yes. Vincent? So I didn't clog the toilet on the plane? <laughs> nope, but that's disgusting. Okay, moving on. So I will now be explaining the rules and guidelines to you for the show. So basically what we're gonna be doing is- I'm sorry, but this is most likely illegal and you're insane and I'm not gonna participate in your stupid game show. As a matter of fact, this is 100% legal. It's on page 133 of your contract, which you all signed and failed to read. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to call my lawyer then and see how this holds up. If only you could, unfortunately. Phil, the pirate pilot, stole all of your phones. So this is a 100% technology-free zone, okay? <laughs> what about the cameras? Yeah, and the mics they have on us. Well, I mean, it's it's still a still a television show. Like, we need cameras and, and microphones. And... and that dude's texting over there. Steven, seriously? During the show? I'm not turning the show, ever heard of PR? What? No cell phones? How am I supposed to stay up on all things Kardashian? Woo! 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 She fainted. S Steven, call 911, please. Yeah. 
있습니다. I can't believe Rasha did that to me. She knows how important my phone is. I'm waiting for a callback from a Fantastic Sam for a modeling shoot. I'm an Instagram influencer and I'm a Grubhub delivery boy. There's nothing more important in my life than my phone. Literally nothing. Nothing. Ah! There's our phone in my eye! How ironic. Hey, it's not funny. Here, Pumpkin, let me take a look. I have an iPhone 4, so no, I know my way around these things. Okay. Yep. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Bottom left corner. Mm, I didn't realize we had an engineer in all this. Pumpkin's kind of cute. Swollen eye and all. I think I'm going to go for it. Um, um. Like, like, yes, Carl. She, she still passed out. Okay, look, she's fine. Lynn it told me that she was hypoglycemic, so when things like this happen, all you have to do is pour a little water on her, okay? Hey, Lynn. <sighs> How are you feeling? I'm, I'm okay. Here, have a donut. Okay. Your blood sugar must be low. Yeah. Look at me. Uh -huh. You talk when I talk. Uh -huh. talk okay? uh -huh. Eat the donut. Uh -huh. Eat the donut. <laughs> All right, she's fine. Woo! You scared me, girl. All right, moving on, guys. Okay, so that did not go exactly as planned, but it's just a minor setback. I think we all just need to relax, maybe get some food. Ned, when does craft services arrive? Oh, I thought you told Steven to handle the food. You said I destroy everything I touch. Okay, well maybe if you didn't throw my phone, I could have been able to call craft services. Anything? Nothing. Well, what are we going to do? No food, no reception. Ned's Amish, so he doesn't have a phone. I'm Jewish, not Amish, Steven. All right, well, regardless, these people need to eat, and you have to be keeping your uncle up to date. How are we going to do this? Look, it's going to work. We have to make it work, okay? Because if not, everyone's going to starve and die. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but that was some good work out there today. Are you kidding me? It was a disaster. Brandon, put your wig back on. What if someone sees you? Who pissed in your rosé? Um, you did with that fake fainting stunt. And what the hell is going on with your outfit? You asked me to get a costume from Party City. It was either this or a sexy mailbox. Whatever that is. I had to pay for the wig myself. I'm going to be in my trailer. Where's my trailer? The trailers aren't coming, OK? Nothing's coming, all right? we have to go with these rat-faced contestants and live amongst them and eat cans of tuna with them like second-class citizens. And I freaking forgot my dry shampoo. Oh, Rachi, I had no idea. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's just, it's hard. Yeah. You know, it's hard. Yeah. Wait, Wait, guys, I have an idea. I gotta hand it to Ned. This lasagna is delicious. Mm -hmm. So fresh. So good. Look, guys, I know we got off on the wrong foot today. But the fact is, you're all a part of a survival prank show. You agreed to that. Sort of. I know you're upset, but with the multiple obstacles and competitions in this game, one of you could walk home with $100,000. <laughs> If I win, I could definitely pay off this lawsuit. I am golden. <laughs> yeah, Carl and I are for sure gonna be opening up that pizza for sure. now for anchovies. Anchovies. <laughs> With this much money, I could like open up my own gym. If I win the money, I'd probably donate it to some charity, like Asia or something. I was just trying to relax, maybe get some publicity, but now I'm here to win. Well, <laughs> With all that booty they have promised me, I would buy a thousand ships. <laughs> hey, Bill, you're not. What are you even still doing here? Good 
morning, everybody. How did everyone sleep? My back kind of hurts. Carl snores. Something definitely bit my tush last night. Uh, oh, that's, that's not good. Anyways, I had the weirdest dream last night. I was walking into the woods and I saw Lynn Peen, but she was standing up. <laughs> So bizarre, right? So weird. That's <laughs> 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 a dream? <laughs> More like a nightmare! <laughs> that was no dream, sister. Well, I hope you all feel rested because today is the obstacle course of fashion. You boys probably don't understand this, but fashion is not easy. Getting ready is an obstacle course in itself. Let's walk you through the challenge. Step one, you will find the dress that matches your complexion best. Step two, hurdle over the log. For step three, you better watch your toes. You have to swim through the crop infested waters. Be careful, those crocs bite. What are you going to accessorize with? A diamond necklace, perhaps? The final two contestants will tug of war with the diamond in the center. First person to get the necklace on their side wins. But first, let's talk about what we're playing for. A beautiful sunset dinner with Ned's lasagna, featuring an old cookie and some wine from the back of my car. Oh. Your shoes and tie, sugar. Oh, thanks, pumpkin. Of course. When I win this thing, I'm taking you with me. All right, sounds good. All right, wilderness wannabes, let's get rolling. On your mark, get set. Versace. Duke, out of the gate, going for a cheetah body con dress. Pumpkin picks up a beautiful blue. Carl, Vincent, and Lynn, all struggling to grasp the concept of female clothing. Looks like we have a little love connection over here. And Lynn's hair is on point. Lynn. Amazing hurdle over the log. Pumpkins over the log. Lynn, pitifully fumble Tasha. Trailing close. Careful, Duke. Those crocs spank. Carl is struggling to get over that log. Sit in dead last, hoping to score some points with that move. And Natasha is beating Ned to the crowd. Nice job, Natasha. Arms pumpkin. And Duke and Lynn are going at it with the tug of war. And what's this? Lynn is winning as if nobody's on the other side of that rope. I definitely did not expect this super strength. Lynn, let go of the rope. Oh, my hypoglycemia! <laughs> Like Duke has won the competition. Duke, how do you feel? Oh. 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 Dude, Lynn must have like thrown that competition or something. There's, there's no way I was winning. I've never seen strength like that before in a woman. Like, I think I saw the fiery rage of hell in her eyes. I think I'm in love. All right, Duke, you've won the sunset lasagna dinner. And here's the twist. You get to take one lucky contestant with you. Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna take... Lynn. Lynn. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. Congratulations, Duke and Lynn. Like, I just really thought me and Duke had, like, a connection. I mean, I get it. Like, Lynn's really pretty, and she has really great hair and a great smile and actually a really infectious laugh. But I'm going to win this competition and Duke is mine. Okay, so we got through challenge one. That's the good thing. I really wanted Duke to end up with Natasha, but I guess Duke and Lynn can be a thing now. It'll probably start some drama between Duke and Natasha. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna date Duke. I mean, he's kinda arrogant. I'm a Taurus and he's an Aries. It, it just plan for disaster. Brandon, you're not a freaking competitor, okay? Do you understand? You're just a dude prancing around in a dress. 
Okay, no. 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 Don't you dare start. No, 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 no. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm sorry. Okay, I am. But you know I'm stressed, okay? All right, now I need you to start doing what I tell you to do, all right? You need to make this guy fall in love with you, all right? Look at you. Hey, uh, pumpkin, I picked you some flowers. They made me think about you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have, that was really classy. That was a classy move. Thank, thanks, man. Uh, I don't really have like anything for you, but uh, I have, you wanna see my muscles? Yeah. Go right ahead. All right. <sighs> that's, that, I'm, you wanna see my muscles? I can feel it far. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah, you know, I work out. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty clever. Yeah. Well, I like that. Hey, you're not the same. <laughs> <enough. laughs> that was pretty clever. You know what they say about love. Dead men tell no tales, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? No. There's just, there's just something about that girl. Like, it looks like a raccoon with her eyes popping out of a trash can. And just her name, Pumpkin, it just rolls off the tongue. Pumpkin. I don't know if she likes me, though. Like, I see her looking at Vincent, and Vincent looking at her. He just, he always gets the girl. And I just feel like we go together like Cinderella and Aladdin. Like, we just, I feel like it go like my crazy hair, and she's a hairstylist. Okay, so how are we going to make this sunset dinner romantic because we literally only have Ned's lasagna? Hey, my lasagna has gotten me into three of my past relationships. Okay, yes, and out of them, all right? Okay, zip it. Steven, go, give me ideas. I mean, I saw a bar back in town that had live music. Maybe I can go find someone in there. Okay, yeah, that could work. Um, how much do you think it'll be, like $30, $40? I mean, just to be safe, she just give me your debit card. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Um. Just, you know, please remember, like, we got to keep things on the cheap, all right? All right, I'll be uh, okay. back in three hours. Yeah, and could you get me some ibuprofen on your way out? My head is pounding. We got a standard budget, remember? All right, three hours. I'll see you later. Okay. He's great. Steven and Rachel are the most dysfunctional couple I've ever seen. One moment, it's sunshine and roses. The next, it's like a cage match. They're the most terrible people I've ever seen. They're perfect for each other. Hey, hey. You're me, sea dog here. Oh, it's just you. Oh, come on, let's go. Okay. Want to make some money? Let's go. I'd love to. I totally had like more like six of these days. Oh, yeah. They're crushing them, yeah. It's They're delicious. One lasagna for two. And a cookie. This dinner's like super chill and all. And, like, I really couldn't imagine like going to dinner with anybody besides you. Oh, really? <laughs> I could imagine going to dinner with a million people. The Pillsbury Doughboy, Colonel Sanders, Toucan Sam, Ronald McDonald. She just. She's so cultured, man. It's, <laughs> uh, Danny DeVito, um... Did someone say music? Gentlemen. I'm ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I present to you the musical stylings of... Phil the Pirate. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a song for you? Let's get to it, shall we? I'm out here singing for you. I'm in love with the thoughts of you. Hey, what is it? What is it? Steven, he's terrible. What were you thinking? Hey, okay, let him know, Rasha. He's the best option we had at the moment. You're not taking this seriously enough. Okay, I think you're taking this way too seriously. Do you understand that this show, it affects you just as much as it affects me? How? How? How about the fact that I'm the one who pays for everything of yours, okay? Your hair products, your headshots, who do you think paid for those dimple implants you got last year? You're really gonna bring that up right now, really. 
Yeah. You're the one that wanted these in the first place, okay? You think oh the whole world revolves around you. Well, guess what? It doesn't, okay? The only reason why I'm not taking this serious enough is because I know how it's gonna end with you freaking crying and with me cleaning up the mess. That's great, Steven. Really, no, that's wonderful. Even my own boyfriend doesn't believe in me. What is wrong with you? Okay, Rashi, I'm sorry. You know how I get when I drink. You're drunk? Yeah, the bar I went to had a oh my gosh. five drink minimum, so. Oh my gosh. You know what, we should just break up. We should just break up right now, seriously. I'm serious. No, don't say that. Please don't say that. Do you think that this is going well right now? Pretty good. <laughs> In my opinion. I need a minute. I can't have any fun with anything, man. Here, under the moon, I am singing for you. Nice, dude, nice. Sweet, As my payments, I require sustenance, but enjoy your night and enjoy your nutos. Send it, bro. Send that. Send it. Very cool. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you did you want some pump? Oh yeah, I would love some. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Yeah. I got an extra one. Oh, to be honest, you think I had all the time. I need it again. Let me get some of that. You know what's uh you know what's better than tuna? Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Just tell just tell Where are Duke and Lynn? I feel like it's been hours. You know what, Natasha here. Hey, have some tuna. For the last time, butternut, I'm vegan. You know what? My name is Pumpkin. I come from a long line of pumpkin. Brother Pumpkin, Uncle Pumpkin, and Grandpa Pumpkin. Listen here, you little hillbilly freak. What the hell? I don't know what happens. Sometimes I get so frustrated that my baby voice just comes out. <sighs> I work too much. What was that, Natasha? Yeah, don't talk to Pumpkin like that. We're all friends here. I'm not friends with any of you guys. I'm here for the money, okay? We don't have to be friends, but you do not talk to Pumpkin like that. No, ma'am. Why are you guys defending her? Half of her butt is like the size of the moon. <laughs> because uh, I, I love, love her. her. <gasps> What's up, bro? What did you say? Are you heard me? You think you know what love is? You think you know what love is? I don't know what I do to man. I've had brothers fight over me, professional wrestlers, the president of the United States Peanut Organization of America. <laughs> I just don't know what I do. You think you know what love is? You think you don't, bro? Oh, really? Because I think I would I would know. You're a level three Highlander. What do you know? Ugh. And that's my cue to get the heck out of here. Steven. Steven. Can you go make sure she doesn't really leave? Wow, you're so cool with that ass on, dude. You wouldn't even know love hits you in the face. Hey, oh, I do. Guys, come on. Dude, let's let's not fight. You're level three Please, Highlander, honestly. bro. Nice stupid shirt. Look, hey, I don't you get that shirt have from? insurance, you get okay? Get in touch, what up? What's wrong? I don't, I don't get why Duke likes Lynn. I thought that me and him really had a connection. I mean, well, she's pretty hot. Oh, my god. Okay, no, 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 but you're even hotter. You're even I am. I'm just saying you shouldn't have been the manager. Ah! Look what you did. Money. Look what you did now. No, no, no. Are you okay? I'm no. So sorry. Stop. You've done quite enough. Oh, just give her some space, no. people. Just give her some space. Ned. Oh my. Is it bad? in the nose last night which is um you know pretty unfortunate because this is a new nose <sighs> and the weird thing is like it happened hours ago but it's still bleeding like a faucet this thing however not to worry in the words of the amazing kim k my personal idol this is nothing great contour can't fix Rachel, is everything ready to start? Yeah, Ned, we're ready. We can start. Are you okay? Where's Steven? You know, he should really be here. Okay, look, he's not coming, all right, Ned? Now stop asking stupid questions and bothering me, okay? Let's get started.
morning, Mildred oh, people. Dude. Oh, that's that's to your face. That's oh my god. You should, you honestly, okay? you should get that wrong. checked out, okay. right? Alright, okay. You e. shouldn't be bleeding that much. E. Last night was something else. But, you know, here we are. Challenge two. Let's get into it. Challenge two is all about the senses. You will be on a scavenger hunt for the perfect bouquet of flowers. Ladies, you will be blindfolded, and men, your hands will be tied behind your back, leaving the men to rely on their words and women to rely on their hands. And the duo that makes the most expensive looking bouquet wins a nap in my car. Why are these games so feminist? Look, who runs the world? Girls! Amen, sis, moving on. At the end of the competition, we will bring out our professional flower connoisseur. Ned Salzberg. Wilderness wannabes, on your marks, get set, Gucci. We have to have the most beautiful bouquet. Get me something beautiful. You got it. Okay, top right. There you go. That's the avatar um, flower, like from the movie. Uh-huh. That's at the top, top right, top right. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly. This one's gonna look good? Here, dude, pink, pink. What are you doing? You, you can't mix those. those are Carnations and hydrangeas. Oh my You're gonna gosh. mess up the arrangement. Uh, yeah, clearly, just like you shouldn't lead someone on when you have feelings for someone else. What are you talking about? We're, we're just friends. I'm, you're cool and all, but I'm, I'm into girls who are like more into fitness. Ugh, girls like Lynn. <laughs> no, that's not edible. <laughs> you're like, like a shining, glimmering angel from Asgard, like. <laughs> you're so sweet. You know what, Carl? I actually really like you. You're, you're all right. Carl? Carl, you okay? Here. No, no Natasha. Just, here, just let me do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so over this. And to your left. Yeah? There's like a little red thing. Uh-huh. And uh... This oh, thing, right? Uh, that should work. Beautiful. That should work. Three, two, one. Flowers down. Now, Ned. Well, this one's a little bare, and I'm pretty sure that's poison oak. Yep, that's poison oak, all right. I definitely know. <laughs> I was in Boy Scouts. I mean, Girl Scouts. <laughs> Who wants some thin mints? <laughs> Girl power. The, this one has blood all over it. Well, the horns, they got me. Are you okay? No. And um, I'm pretty sure this is just a metal pole. Yep. Duke, your mouth looks kind of thrashed. It was the arrangement. The what? The arrangement. Oh my, speaking of that language here? Honey, you're speaking in tongues. Shut up, Lynn. I don't feel so good. I, I think I'm going to have to go to the emergency room. Who do call an ambulance? We can't call the ambulance, OK? If I have a broken nose, you can have a broken tongue, all right? We're going to have a pain in <sighs> Rachel, you have to do something. <laughs> Bill, come on. Let's go, man. You got the sand trophy. <gasps> what? Oh. Where am I? Are you gonna are you guys gonna kill me? Please, please don't. Just just tell Lynn I love her. What? Ew, no. Look, I don't think Lynn is your um type. But I'm not going to kill you, okay? But we need to talk, alright? Look, I can't take you to the hospital. I can't take anybody to the hospital, alright? You leaving will throw off this entire game, and it'll get in the way of my success, and it'll get in the way of your success. Do you want to be a failure? Do you want everybody to know that you failed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay? Now drink this bottle of Calamine lotion. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, just hurry up. Hey, Natasha, you mind helping me out with this real quick? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Just with this? I mean, I just really wanted to talk. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, look, I think you're super fun, and once the stupid show's over, you should probably go grab a drink after. What about Rachel? Don't even worry about her. She's so into this stupid show that she wouldn't even notice. Okay. <laughs> Stop. 
Steven and I, we're in love. He told me he's leaving Rachel for me. At this very moment, he's buying tickets for the Caribbean. I gave him my debit card. All right, everybody. Duke is all right. Um, he's just gonna, you know, be sitting out for a little while until the swelling goes down. But now is a really great time to bring up challenge three, prank wars. Oh, okay, no, no, look, look at me. No, stop, I don't need a demonstration for this. Just get off my set. Just leave, you freak. Go, get out of here. Seriously, I don't wanna see you anymore. You're fired. Prank wars. What are the rules? There are no rules, pumpkin. The prank that makes me laugh the hardest is the one that wins, okay? I don't care anymore. I don't know about this show. I mean, it's really testing our fate. So many of us have already almost died. I mean, look at my tush. I'm pretty sure it's infected. Don't worry about fate, pumpkin. I'll kill all of you before fate can get to you, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, you have 24 hours and no teaming up. See you later. Don't you worry, Pumpkin. I have something that will take the attention right off your tush. You stay away, you loaded dapper. Don't worry, I'll protect you, my little pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Reggie, are you okay? Go away, Ned. I just realized I left my vape charger at home. Ratchy, you don't vape. I know. I just found this in the woods. I don't even know whose it is. I. Okay, no, we're gonna put that down. Okay, don't cry. I know this whole show has been a disaster, but at least you have me and Steven. I'm pretty sure he's cheating on me with Natasha. Oh, thank goodness you figured it out before I had to tell you. Okay. That what am I going to do? This whole show has blown up in my face. Uncle David's going to cut me off. I'm going to be poor. I'm going to have to be like a barista or something. And what am I going to do with my membership to FabFitFun? I'm sure Duke could get you a membership at Thigh Gap. Oh. Okay, Rachel, remember when we were younger and you punched me in the throat? Yeah, that was the best Hanukkah ever. Well... You see, I wanted to be a professional singer. And when you did that, you completely wrecked my vocal cords. Ned, this isn't some silly pipe dream. I have talent. So did I. I was on Star Search. F forget it. Rachel, the second that you stop caring about yourself and start caring about other people is when you're going to be happy. I know. I just... I feel so aimless right now. You know what? Sleep on it. Everything is going to be better in the morning. I made frittatas. You like frittatas, right? Yeah. Um, also, shit. Carl's dead. Yeah, I know it's not your Wait. normal protein breakfast matcha shake, but it, it'll still taste good. I no. Mean, no, not about, <laughs> I don't care about the frittatas. Yeah. Carl's dead? Yeah, he's dead. Also, um, while I was making them, a uh, breeze flew up my skirt and everyone saw my downtown business. <laughs> Why weren't you wearing underwear? That's not important. There's a man dead in the forest and a frittata getting cold. Let's go, woman. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We were just talking yesterday. I can't believe he's gone. Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay, all right, just wait a minute. Did anybody feel for a pulse? No. <laughs> we just feel really bad. <laughs> Hold on a second. He's still breathing. How long has he been like this? For like the last 15 minutes. <sighs> what happened? How? What's on his face? It, Pumpkin, what's going on with your eyebrows? <laughs> what? What's wrong with them? Oh. Ah! 
I shaved Pumpkin's eyebrows off. Lynn gave me some bull tranquilizer. She passed out real quick. That pumpkin just got squashed. Okay, he could have a concussion though. We need to take him to the hospital. I thought you said no hospitals. Okay, well that was before this, Natasha. The game is over. Okay, now please help me get him to my car. Wait, wait. What? It was me. What? It was my prank. I mean, I, I tied him up and I hoisted him up in a tree. Sort of how you do like a pinata. Yeah. And then, well then I smeared peanut butter all over him and, and then he fell out of the tree and then he died. And, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's a miracle! Oh, it's a miracle! Carl? You killed me? I, I didn't mean to, Carl. You know it. I'm, I'm dead! Yeah. Carl, you know I didn't mean to kill you, dude. You're my best friend. Explain this. We did so much together. I didn't mean to do it. Anchovies? I'm just really you afraid. You ruined our plans. Anchovies? <laughs> Nebraska? Don't. Just oh, don't God, haunt me all my life, please. Uh, I'm dead. Know. Look, you, you, you clearly have a concussion. How is she touching me? We need I don't to know how she's doing that. Okay, Are you Carl? ghost too? Okay, come on. She Let's did. go. Let's go. I hate you. Whoa, Carl, You're come on, man. Anymore. That's overboard. You know You're how I'm right. sensitive about that. I'll you for the rest of your life. Come on, Please don't do that. It's like five seconds for you. For me, it's all my life, Carl. When you're alone in your room, I'll be there. No, please don't. It'll be Carl. like you know ghosts. It'll be like ghosts with the pottery. No. Okay guys, Ned took Carl to the emergency room, but I I honestly don't know what's going to happen. So we just have to wait. So Rachel, we all kind of want to know who wins. Yeah. Seriously, Natasha? What? What did I just say? The game is over, somebody got hurt. Mm, no, I really side with Natasha. Lynn. I think there should be a winner. Yeah, I mean, come on, Rachel. I mean, you drag us all out here, you lied to us. Someone should win the money. Okay, that is enough. Somebody who you have gotten to know over these past couple of days is seriously injured and none of you care. All you're thinking about is the money. And that's not what life is about and that's not what this show is about. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really stressed and I'm worried about Carl and I think I just need to take a walk and, and clear my head. Hey babe, have you seen my vape pen lying around by each other? Oh, what happened to your face? You look awful. Oh, it's good to see you too, Steven. I got punched in the nose. Where have you been? Okay, well, I felt really bad about our fight, so I went around and bought you this gift. Okay, this is literally just a punch card to a car wash. Yes, but it has two punches already, so you're that much closer to getting a free car wash. Steven, look, come here. This isn't going to work. You've been gone this entire competition and you knew how much it mattered to me. And I know you're cheating on me with Natasha. Okay, that's insane. There are so many other girls I cheated on you with before her. Okay, you understand that doesn't make me feel any better about this situation, right? Okay, please don't break up with me. Please. Look, I'm sorry, but I just think I really lost myself in this relationship. You know, I used to paint my nails. And I don't do that anymore. I get them done at the shop. You know that. <sighs> you know, for the first time in my life, I really think I'm starting to understand what it, who I am and what I want. And it's not this. It's so not this. <sighs> well, I mean, at least we still have Coachella, right? Yeah, we'll always have Coachella. Rachel's right. I think we let this competition get to us. I mean, I killed my best friend. Dude, he's not dead. You stay out of this, Yoko. I'm sorry. I just... He's been there through everything, you know? Losing my job, my grandmother dying, my four colonoscopies. I mean, Ooh. You've, yeah. you've had four colonoscopies? N never mind, I've said too much. <clears throat> yeah, I know what you mean. I feel really bad. I feel like I've been a monster and I've treated you guys all so terribly. Mm. And Lynn, I'm happy for you and Duke. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> he showed me the engagement ring. Has oh. he proposed yet? Proposed? Oh, you <laughs> I do. Yeah, oh, no, I, I don't. These are so you cute. Together. I really don't know. He's There's not my type at all. No, you really lack like him. No. Yeah, you know where you should go you. for your honeymoon? Bora Bora. It's so <laughs> romantic. Oh, yeah. You all have a lots of alone time over there. Okay. <laughs> That's too much. Um, I don't know how you guys haven't seen. I'm literally a man in a wig. I have a beard. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. You all saw what happened at breakfast. Oh, the burnt frittatas, yeah. Hmm. Not the burnt frittatas. You all saw my frittatas. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. <sighs> Lynn. Oh. Yeah. Brandon Lynn. Natasha. Here's my number. Give me a call sometime. Am I gonna call him? Yeah. I'm gonna call him. Ha <laughs> ha! Have you seen my peg leg? I was searching for it. Phil! Go away! Okay? Seriously, you've been here way too many days. We don't even need listen, you anymore. Listen, listen. I know you're going through some things, but the seas, they may be rough today, but they will calm eventually and, and you will sail again. As of I, I'm here in my best. I mean, just look at me. And look at you. Soon you will be sailing too. You know, wow, that's Phil, just... that's like... It's really deep. You know, uh, I also realized a man as me gets the things he wants. You understand that, right? Yeah, I get that. And what he wants, he gets. And the things that he wants are very particular mm -hmm. of sorts, you know, he gets. And the things... I can't. I'm sorry. But I can't I do... Don't... I can't do this. Oh. Look, it, uh, you, you know, you brought me on here to help out with your little game show, and, and it's, it was all cool and all, but... Let's keep this professional. You know, I mean, I, I sung at your your cousin's bar mitzvah one time, and you thought I was looking at you, but I was just on stage. I was performing. Like, this this can't happen. I'm sorry, and, and no amount of alcohol in the world can can save this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be on my trailer. All right. Okay. That's good. Yep. Pirate Phil just rejected me. This is a new low. All I can say is, I mean, I see what Duke saw. I mean, this wig makes anyone look great. Check me out. Vincent, dude, enough about the wig. You look like Dolly Parton if her hair got caught in a blender. Well, I don't know what Carl sees in you, so. Uh, the same thing you did, Miss 9 to 5. Well, not with those eyebrows. And besides, I have a new girlfriend. She's on a different show. Well, does your girlfriend have blue eyeshadow? If not more. I don't think if so. not more. OK, guys, guys, just stop. Stop fighting. Hey, wait. Is that Duke? This is gonna be awkward. Hey, Duke. This is gonna oh be my awkward. God. Hey. hey, man, how you feeling? You missed a lot. What? Yeah, Carl died. What? Ignore him. Him? Who are you, dude? Look, hey, whatever. Have you guys seen Lynn? I got, I got something important I gotta ask her. Yeah, actually. Yeah, uh, she, uh, she went down that way, about five miles down the, that way. Yeah, she's uh, there. Yeah, five miles. Five cool, miles. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Dude, do I know you from somewhere? No, I don't think so. Never missed seen you in my life. Nope. All nope. right, all right, cool, dude. Yo, Lynn! You back there? Brandon! What? Some things are better left unsaid. Oh. I can't keep catching you every time you fall. Thank goodness we're all together, right? Yeah, I think you're taking this way too seriously. Are you okay? Stop asking stupid questions and bothering me, okay? What the hell's going on? Did you pull that clock too? This whole thing is not crazy. You're not a freaking competitor. Okay, so we didn't win a contest? That's overboard. You know how I'm sensitive about that. Do you think that this is going well right now? I have no idea. Wait, Rachel, you're not going to tell me that you think that this is going well right now? Rachel, the second that you stop caring about yourself and start caring about other people is when you're going to be happy. Hey, Rachel, what's what's going on? Oh, hey, guys. I'm just trying to get reception to see how Carl's doing. We're actually on the way to the hospital right now, if you want to come with us. Yeah. What? How? There's like a bus stop a mile down. Brandon kind of told us everything. I mean, Rachel, we know we're in Hamul. Sorry, Ratchie, but some boundaries were crossed, and I, I just had to tell them. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, Rachel, we wanted to apologize for 
everything we've done. I mean, yeah, we're these sorry. past couple of days. So sorry. Uh, how incredibly selfish we've been. What? Why are you guys apologizing to me? I'm the one who landed you in this predicament in the first place. Don't you guys see? This is my. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's okay. I forgive you. You know what? You guys are gonna need some bus fare, Wait. right? Let me uh, write yeah, you guys I a guess. check real quick. Here you go. Luggage. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Well, this check Ooh. is... I know. I know. And I expect you to divide it up evenly amongst all the other contestants. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Except course, you, Lynn. Course, you get yeah. nothing. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you coming with us? You know, there's still people roaming the woods and... I do not take public transit, so... I'm gonna hang back for a while, but I'll catch up with you guys. Okay. okay. Well, Bye. thanks, Rachel. Bye. Yeah, appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, Rachel. Bye. Hello? Hey, Rachi. I've been trying to get a hold of you all week. What's been going on? Uncle David, there's been no service. Nobody ever showed up. I, I know. I heard. Ned told me. Ned? How have you been talking to Ned? He's been sending me stuff all week. This stuff is gold. The network's eating it up. They want to make you an offer. They want you to sign three seasons. Way to go, kid. What do you think? I mean, that's great, but... I, I can't do this, Uncle David. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's this show. It's, it seems to bring out the worst in people. And, you know, the network can have it if they want it, but I just, I can't put my name on anything this superficial. Are you kidding me? This is your big chance? Your last chance? And you're gonna just let it go? I'm sorry, but I don't know. I think I just want to take things in a different direction. All right, Rachel. If that's how you feel, okay. I'll have the paperwork sent over to you this week. You know, though, Rachel, despite this not working out, I really think your father would be proud of you. I know I am. Thanks, Uncle David. All right, kiddo, I gotta go. Um, before you go, I think I have one last idea. Hello, my name is Rachel Salzberg. And I'm Lynn Nottagrill. And this is Living Living Life to the the Minimal. minimal, Where we teach greedy people how to own less stuff. Today's lesson, toilet paper. Is it really necessary? (laughs) Not for me.